Hey guys, so we're in the Powder Valley area today in a fairly mellow slope uh, just below treeline. Um, we dug a pit here to explore kind of the settlement of uh, the storm snow in a sheltered area and uh, got some interesting results. In our compression test we got a sudden pop down about 40 in that storm snow but more interestingly we got a sudden collapse down 110 in the facets above our uh, December 5th rain crust and this was a moderate result so tapping from the elbow. Uh, that gave us some causes of concern so we decided to do a extended column test on it. Uh, the layer is a little deep really for an extended column test so we decided to pull out the big guns which is this, the propagation saw test. So for the propagation saw test guys what you want to do is isolate a column along the slope of the, the fall line. You want to trench out on both sides at least down to the layer of interest which for us is down here. I've left a little bit of a, a guide on the side. And what I'm basically going to do is after isolating the back of the column I'm going to put the flat end of my saw into that weak layer, drag it up and then observe it, how far I have to drag it before we get a initiate or a propagation of the failure. All right so here we go with the test we're going to insert the dull end of our saw into our layer and I'm just going to start dragging it up in the facets here and that was us. You look now cut about 40 centimeters on a 110 length column and really easy quick result that's telling us that propagation is definitely likely if you trigger this. Alright guys so we've got two good test results now on our deep persistent weak layer the December 5th rain crust. Uh, we've got a moderate drop in our compression test and then we've got a propagation likely result in our propagation saw test. What this tells me is that this slab is probably going to be difficult to trigger in a deeper snowpack like where we're standing now but if I gain elevation and move up into the rocks there where the snowpack might be a little thinner, that slab is going to be easier to trigger. It could propagate into the fatter pockets and produce quite a large and difficult to read slab avalanche. So my travel strategy today is going to be sticking in those fatter snow loads.